You often go shopping with your parents. Choose the things you like and pay the bill to the shopkeeper or at the billing counter. You purchase various things from different shops. Have you ever wondered how the shopkeeper keeps track of sales that happens in a day or in a month? In small shops, you see the shopkeepers maintaining a record book with details of daily and monthly sales. But bigger shops use different billing software which helps them calculate, analyze and make a summary of the sales. Microsoft Excel 2010 also provides powerful tools such as pivot tables and charts which are used to analyze and summarize different types of data. In this session, you will learn the basic concepts of a pivot table and a pivot chart and how to create a simple sales report using them. First, let us understand one of the important features of Microsoft Excel, that is, data validation. As the name suggests, data validation is used to validate or check whether the user has entered correct values. In other words, it is used to restrict the cell entries within a specified range. For example, if you want to restrict the user to enter their age between 10 and 15, you can use the data validation tool. Let us learn how. To do this, open a blank worksheet in Microsoft Excel. In one of the cells, type Enter Your Age. Select the cell which you need to validate. Now, click the Data tab. From the Data Tools group, Click the arrow below the data validation icon and click the data validation option. You can see the data validation dialog box. On the settings tab, from the allow drop down list, select the whole number option. In the data drop down list, the Between option is selected by default. In the Minimum box, type 10 and in the Maximum box, type 15. Next, click the Input Message tab. In the Title text box, type Validation. In the Input Message area, type greater than or equal to 10 and less than and equal to 15. Next, click the Error Alert tab. In the Error Message box, type Please enter the age between 10 and 15. Click OK to close the dialog box. Now, when you move the cursor near the validated cell, you will see the validation message. If you try to enter data beyond the specified limit, an error will be displayed. Click retry to re-enter value in the cell. Now that you have understood how to restrict the values in the cell, let us look at one more important feature in Microsoft Excel, that is subtotal. Subtotal feature is used to calculate subtotal data in a sorted list. Consider a shopkeeper who sells various sport items. At the end of the year, he wants to find out the total sales of each sport item in each month individually. You can get this total by using subtotal feature. Let us learn how. To apply subtotal 
totals, the database must be sorted. Open a new worksheet and enter the data as displayed on the screen. Click the Data tab and from the Outline group, click the Subtotal icon. The Subtotal dialog box appears. From the At Each Change in drop-down list, select Month. From the Use Function drop-down list, select the Sum function to calculate the sum of sales. Under Add Subtotal to, select the Sales checkbox. Clear the Replace Current Subtotals checkbox. If selected, this option will override the existing subtotal if already calculated. The Summary Below Data option displays the total below each month. Click OK. The subtotal will be displayed on the screen. Now that you have good knowledge on subtotal, let us further move one step ahead and create complete sales report in Microsoft Excel. Ravi runs a big shopping mall. He makes a lot of sales each month on various products. After a few months, he wants to generate a report on the sales that he makes each month and on each product. How will he do this? He can make use of Pivot Table in Microsoft Excel. A Pivot Table is a powerful tool used for consolidating, summarizing and presenting data. To create Pivot Tables, open a new worksheet and enter the data you want to summarize. Select any cell in the database. Click the Data tab. Next, from the custom group you have created, click the Pivot Table and Pivot Chart Wizard icon. Please note the Pivot Table and Pivot Chart Wizard option is not available by default. You need to customize the ribbon from the Excel Options dialog box before using Pivot Table. The Pivot Table and Pivot Chart Wizard Step 1 of 3 dialog box appears. The Microsoft Office Excel List or Database option is selected by default. Now, click the Next button. The Pivot Table and Pivot Chart Wizard Step 2 of 3 appears. This wizard displays the range Microsoft Excel has selected for the pivot table. If you have not selected the whole table, select the table manually including heading and click the next button. Next, pivot table and pivot chart wizard step 3 of 3 appears. Here, the new worksheet option is selected by default. Click the Finish button. This closes the Pivot Table and Pivot Chart Wizard dialog box. The Pivot Table layout will be displayed on the new worksheet. It will have a Pivot Table field pane on the right side of the worksheet. From the Pivot Table field list pane, click and drag the Product field. Drop it in the Row Labels area. Drag the Category field to the Column Labels area. Drag the Amount field to the Values area. The worksheet would look like this. Let us summarize what you have learnt in this video.